Welcome to the webinar. Today I'm going to show you the automatic save and the backup options in Embroidery Studio E 4.5. We'll talk about the auto save and we'll talk about the backup copy and how to use that and how it's used in Embroidery Studio E 4.5. Today I'm going to show you how to use the automatic save and the backup options in the Wilcom Embroidery Studio E 4.5. When you're working inside your software with your designs, your software is saving uh, your designs in regular intervals using uh, the auto save option. To look at the auto save option, we'll navigate to your setup drop menu. We'll click, we'll select options, and it's going to give us the properties for your options. In the upper left corner here you'll see save options. The system is defaulted to auto save design every 10 minutes. And it also creates a backup copy of that design that you're working with inside the software. I would just leave this just like it is with the default. Uh, this is just to show you that the software is doing an automatic backup and it's doing that automatic backup every 10 minutes. Click OK here. And this is designed uh, to protect you in the event of a hardware or software failure. As you're working, you will also see on the lower left corner in regular intervals, an automatic save it will pop up on the screen and your page here may pause for a second or two while it's doing the auto save options. Now the auto save function creates a temporary file uh, and the extension for that file is a EMA extension and that file is going to be in your recovery folder inside your Wilcom software. Where that is located will navigate to your Windows Explorer tab here. We'll click on C drive. Uh, we will click on the program data. We'll scroll down to the Wilcom. Left click. Here you will see in E4 you have a recover file. I have emptied my recover files from this folder already so that's why that there's nothing here uh, but just to show you where that is What we also have here is a backup folder. With that backup folder here as well, I've emptied these out already, but you'll see a list of these and you are required uh, to empty these backup folders uh, from your hard drive because at some point they do, uh, they begin to take up a lot of your RAM memory. So with this backup, as you're working inside the software, if anything happens, the software itself basically maintains the original file name inside the program and that is something new that it does uh, and it uh, doesn't change that until you save the file as another. If you're working inside your software for any 10 minutes, I'm going to, as I navigate here to the file drop down menu, here you can open your backup design. Okay, With this backup here are my designs here that I work with. This is the original file and uh, so it here's the new file. So the system automatically saves this original file here until you change the file name. Okay, And if I want to bring this file back up again in the case of the system failure, I can go into my backup and I can open this file up again. We'll click cancel here. Now with this, uh, you will get, uh, uh, you have a warning or you have an option inside your software. You have an option inside your software to go in and to purge uh, the backup and the recover folders uh, from your PC. Uh, it's a quicker way of doing this and uh, to access this 
you'll be able to navigate here to your Windows Start button. We'll left click. As we scroll down our menu here for our programs, we'll scroll down to the program that you're using here. Here will be the Wilcom Embroidery Studio E4.5. I'll click the arrow. Here is your purge recovery. Um, I would recommend right clicking here and choosing more and pin this. I've already have this pinned to my taskbar, but you can pin this to your taskbar and it will uh, show up here at the bottom of your taskbar here. With this tool, if we double click it, we'll get a purge recover and backup directories pop up that will appear on your screen. Here, it tells you to click OK to purge the recovery directory. Okay, but uh, you want to also go in and delete the backup files as well. As I said earlier, on the 15th and the 30th of the month uh, will be a good time to uh, empty these folders out because they will uh, begin to uh, pile up basically and could uh, cause an error message if they're not removed from your PC. Once you go in, I'm going to select the delete backup files here and I'm going to click OK. And here now it tells me that the recover in the backup directories have been successfully deleted. I'll click OK here. And so now um, with this I've gone in and I've emptied those files. The next step would be to go in. I'm going to right click here on the bottom and I'm going to choose show desktop. You'll go to your recycle bin. You can right click on this and you can choose empty recycle bin and you can empty those files. Here I have 39 items here from your recycle bin. Okay, and now my system is uh, has been maintained. I've gone in and I've emptied out the backup and recover folders. Again, this is regular maintenance for your uh, software in your PC using the Wilcom Embroidery Studio software. That's going to do it for our session today. I hope that you learned something and I hope that, to see you again. Thank you for your time. For more information, please visit us at www dot aboutstitches.com. Thank you.